2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. He opposeth and exhorteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. All right, and I don't have uh, scriptures queued up, but I want to just go in, you know, in the spirit, if the Lord is willing, uh, Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson. I was uh, watching a few videos and I came across one of uh, Dave Ike Ice, if I'm saying his name right. Uh, you know, a guy who always been talking about for years about the elite's agenda, you know, in every different ways and forms. You know, he does go off because I believe he teaches uh, the reptilian thing that he saw as reptiles, which is way off. All right. But uh, one video I've seen, I want to put in this uh, this lesson after I read a few scriptures uh, because it deals with. You know the uh the prop it deals with prophecy all right which prophecy is uh, uh a part of um esau's agenda and his agenda is to turn us into transhumans all right he wants to get rid of individuality you know he wants to put us in groups he wants a one world government all right and this is why the motb is very important to understand all right. Now you got many different camps who uh, go against that prophecy and some don't teach it at all. Some, you know, say it's Christianity embargo, you know, you name it. But in fact, that chip, that MOTB, all right, is the microchip. And uh, it's reasons why. If you uh, if the Lord open your mind to understand because Esau's agenda is to turn us into transhumans, all right, to put artificial intelligence, you know, you know, having artificial intelligence running us, you know, worldwide, you know, and being like sort of a God over us, where it gives him the supreme power of intelligence. It gives him the ability, you know, to be in all places at once, all right? It gives him the ability to control people's emotions, you know, on another level, you know, uh, beyond a human level. And that's why I read the scripture here. This is Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse four. It says, who opposeth and exhorteth himself above all that is called God. And that's Esau. All right. And we're talking about starting with these international bankers. All right. Which are who rules the world. Now, let me say this. You know, I know whoever tuned in. You know, if you come across the page, you probably say, well, dang, you know, he kind of did a lesson like this before. Well, these lessons are going to be repetitive. You're going to hear the same scriptures. You know, you're going to hear the same tone in the song. All right. Because it's really a song. And that's all we're doing. You know, uh, us of the whole for elect, the uh, men of the Lord, the teachers, the prophets, apostles. You know, we're uh, singing a song. All right. And this song must be sung and the song get played over and over and over and over until the Lord turn off the song. All right. And that means when the Lord shut up the prophets. So when you come across these videos, you're going to hear some of the similar same scriptures, same breakdowns. All right. Same narrative. All right. And that's that's good because you've been informed. But there's a lot of others of the hopeful elect who need to be sealed. And need to have some clear understanding, all right, to having that full insurance of faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So this is why the song is repetitive. It's a constant song that's being played over and over and over. Alright. You got those who are gonna hate the song, and you got those who love the song. Alright. Those of the whole for elect will love the song, but those who hate the song are the most high's enemies. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's enemies. All right, and that's the people of the world. 
So anyway, let's continue. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. So he opposeth and he exalteth himself. So real quickly, what I want to do is uh, see what this word opposeth goes into. To be set over against, opposite to. To oppose, be adverse to, withstand. And Esau is the opposite of the Heavenly Father because he is Satan. Okay? Satan means adversary. All right? This is why it's important to understand words and get that mytholo mythological, if I'm saying that right, myth, myth, mythological, myth, 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 all right, out of your head of the image of what Satan looked like. All right? It's a word. The word Satan means adversary, means against. And that's what Esau is. He was set up to be the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. Meaning the Lord set him up as that whooping stick, all right, that 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 belt whooping stick uh, toward the Israelites for us going off. But he also created him to uh, to destroy him. OK, he is the sons of the wicked. And in this verse opposeth, it says to be set over against a po uh, opposite uh, opposite to excuse me, to oppose, be adverse to withstand. Adversity, be contrary, uh, contrary, be contrary, oppose, to lie opposite, uh, be, av be adverse, right, read that, so basically to oppose, he opposeth himself, all right, and exhorteth himself above all that is called God, now the word God means power. All right. So he wants to be the almighty power. All right. He wants to be the most high. All right. Now we call on Yahweh. All right. Which is the true name of the heavenly father who the world eagerly calls God. But he does have a title which is, you know, called most high. And why he's called the most high? Because he's the almighty power. You know, you can't get more high of a power than Yahweh. But he. All right. He exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship because he wants to be worshiped. All right. He wants you to praise him and not praise the heavenly father and Yahweh Shai, his son. It says so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God and who the temple he wants to sit in is the Israelites temple. All right. He wants to sit in our bodies. Your temple is your body. So he wants to be in the body. It says showing himself that he is God because he wants to prove that he is God. Because with this technology, all right, with that MOTB being the mark of the beast, excuse me, that MOTB being that microchip that sits inside the body and control the brain frequencies, he can be God. All right. We don't have power, you know, to control others with thought. Or with a computer that technology is like they want to call it alien technology but really it's old technology but it's just power on the left hand side of the Lord that's been given to E this this technology has been given to E so that he can reach that height and elevation of his pride because uh, in this song we understand the uh, the uh, punchline okay we understand that that moment that when the lord uh get e to the elevation and height of his pride the lord is going to take him out he's going to take him out man all right now let me go to the book of isaiah matter of fact before i do that let me go to the book of psalms psalms chapter 10 because e is prideful this is um Verse 4, the wicked through the pride of his consonants will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. So he is not thinking about the Most High. He's thinking about defeating the Most High. All right. It says, or he's thinking about being the most, the almighty power. Right. It says, verse 5, his ways are always grievous. Thou judgments are far above out of his sight. 
As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. And who's Esau made uh, number one enemy? That's the heavenly father and his son. Okay, let alone, you know, you have his chosen here in the earth. All right, his people. This is why you so-called blacks and Latinos, native and Seminole Indians, so-called West Indians, so-called Haitians. All right, this is why you're on the bottom. And he made sure of it by law. All right, that you would never find a way up to be, even be a challenger. All right, so, hey, these are the curses. That proves that the the, the curses in Deuteronomy 28, all right, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15 on down, that these curses fit us. So this proves that we're the Israelites. That's perfect. All right. And it's proved that he is Esau. So it says his ways are always grievous. Everything that he come up with is grievous because it's done with ill intent. It's a, he's a snake. He's a he has he's that serpent, that old serpent, which when you look it up, he uh he's cunning and he's of wisdom. All right. He's very wise, but wise to do evil. And whatever he gives as a sort of benefit, all right, is really to trap you, all right, to keep you on the bottom, to keep you in his grip, all right? So his ways are always grievous. Everything that this devil kicking out here and pushing, you got you got to know, the scriptures say, um, we're not ignorant to Satan devices. Uh, what's that? In the Apocrypha... I believe it's Sirach, the 12th chapter. It goes in, it goes into saying, never trust our enemy for like if iron rust, so of his wickedness. So you have to understand the ways of Esau, of the enemy. All right. Not just, you know, being your own, you know, feelings and being your own pride, you know, feeling your own pride and, and, and teaching things that are not scriptural. You have to teach the truth. You have to warn these people. All right. Because the heavenly father and his son exists. The angels exist. This word exists. Okay. And it's coming to light. It's manifesting right before our eyes. So that means that Yahweh Shai will return. He's going to recover the remnant of his elect. And he's going to destroy Esau. He's going to destroy that dragon. All right. And he's going to set up his kingdom in the earth. Starting with his elect. So this means we're all going to have to come to that seat of the Lord. So it's best off to teach the truth and, and get rid of pride. You know, Elder uh, Elder uh, Benatazak, you know, he did a powerful lesson yesterday. And um, as he was, uh, you know, doing the lesson, even myself, man, you know, I just got a, a, a it's, it's just like a, a, a spirit came on me. Uh, and it was in fear, you know, just fear, just, just the spirit of, you know, not fear of Esau, the enemy or, you know, man, but the fear just in the Lord, that, that respect as he was going over and just going in, going in, you know, very edifying. All right. It's like, you know, I was just watching the video and then boom, it's like all of a sudden I just start thinking about my faults, you know, what I do wrong, you know, what, what, what have I not doing right? It's just instantly, man, and and that's humbling, you know. What am I doing wrong? What 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 did I not do right? You know, am I doing what I am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? You know, and just in all aspects, you know, and that's you know how you're supposed to be because it helps you uh continue on in your course to endure it all the way to the end, and that was much needed, you know. Even though I I don't know the full situation what the elder was going into, I believe, you know, they you know. Somebody got kicked. I don't know who, but uh, just by the example of one other's uh, error, you know, we supposed to be in fear, man, of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai to do right. So teach the truth. Uh, it says his ways are always grievous. Thou judgments are far above out of his sight. As for his enemies, he puffeth at them. He have said in his heart, which is his mind. I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. Now that's pride because he believes he's never going to be taken from out of power. These elites, all right, who's who uh, went underground and, you know, since 2020, 
and they've been pushing this agenda as far as their NWO, turning us into transhumans, taking away um, individuality, you know, casting us into groups, striving to establish one government, you know, these elites are prideful. They believe that they're not going to be taken down. And now they have uh, one of the greatest think tanks, which is this artificial intelligent computer, which I believe is just a demon. All right. Through the spirit of the Lord, giving E that that information, that knowledge. All right. On the left hand side to help him reach the height and elevation of his pride. You know, the Lord is, like I said, you know, the scriptures say, not I say, but the scriptures say the Lord is going to, it's going to, the Lord says he's going to put pride on E like he done Pharaoh. All right. You know, just to show his power. So this, so it's, it's a, it's a chess move. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is doing, you know, and it's a beautiful movie. It's emotional. All right. It's action. It's thriller. It's going to be horror. It's going to be romantic, you know, when Yahweh Shai, you know, that marriage, when Yahweh Shai return and the elect is being married back unto the Lord. That's romantic, man. You know, you're going to cry. You're going to, it's going to be, um, uh, it's going to show uh, uh, courage, you know, like, a, like the Avengers movies, bravery, hero, hero like, you know, the villain's going to have his way. But at the end, the villain's going to be taken out. So this is one hell of a movie, you know, the best movie on the planet Earth is reality. <laughs> the best movie on the planet Earth is reality, man. All right. And the Lord gave us the eyes, the eyesight, you know, uh, uh, he, he gave us the scripts so that we would know the movie, man. And it's beautiful to watch it play out. So all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. He said, I re he said he revealeth uh, his secrets unto the prophets, you know, so we got the secrets and now we're revealing it because he wanted to be revealed. All right. So anyway, um, uh, verse verse 7, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity. All right. And that goes into his media, you know, his politicians and so on. You know, you can continue to read. But what I want to do. Got to get the scripture. All right. Got to go. Matter of fact, before I go here, let's go to Isaiah real quickly. Isaiah 32 and 5. The vowed person shall be no more called liberal, nor the chul said to the bountiful. For the vowed person shall speak villainly, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against Yahweh. To make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. All right, so who's that veiled person? That's Esau. Okay, these elites. All right, starting with them. It says he will speak villainly, and his heart will work iniquity. So he's working sins on top of sins on top of sins. He has the think tank. He has his artificial intelligence. All right, and he's coming up with these clever cunning ways to control the people or to put technology into the people all right right now his his goal is to put this technology in you okay one way or the other all right get down or lay down eventually all right it says to practice hypocrisy and it's hypocritical because they tell us that we have to do but instead they don't do it's hypocritical man you tell us what we got to do and what we should do, but then when it comes to them, they don't do. You see that? And to utter error against Yahweh because they believe that, you know, the, the way that we're designed and the life that we live, you know, the, the, the period of our lifespan is all wrong. You know, Esau himself, because he has uh, recessive genes. You know, blue eyes, blonde hair, you know, uh, his, his pigment, his blood show forth through his skin. Okay, uh, his, his immunity system is not as strong as the Israelites are. He believes the Lord made us in error. So he's going to fix that. And his way of fixing that 
is through his technology inside your body. And that will give him a longer life, all right? Gives him more knowledge of the body, more knowledge of his vital organs. You know, there's one guy, I can't think of his name, but I saw a video a couple of months, or my, my, my month ago, all right? And uh, the guy, he's experimenting on himself, but he's trying to basically, he wants to live, he wants to put 20 more years on his life that he when he uh then then when he's supposed to live something like that and he's using artificial intelligence he's using something to monitor his heart he's taking these vitamins you know he's checking his vitals every day he's not making sudden movements like this like he is really going way out okay he's not making subtle movements he don't want his heart rate to go up a certain rate you know for whatever the reason is so he's when he's when he speaks he speaks calm you know, he is way out there, man. But, hey, he's the devil that the Bible speaks of. This man is uh, saying that the Most High created us in error. It says, and to utter error against the Lord. Everything that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh have done and placed in this earth is all done for a reason. And it was perfect. All right. It says, to make empty the souls of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. All right. Because we're living according to this sinful uh, life just for a, a moment all right the lord is going to change us he's going to give this earth back until his rightfully owners who he created it for all right e you're temporary anyway verse seven the instruments also of the chul are evil he devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words even when the needy speaketh right so he you know create these devices these instruments all right, and it says the instruments of the chore, which you look up the word chore in the Google, it's, it's, it means impolite, mean spirited person, low birth. And that's E all the way. Mean spirited person. You know, that, that old serpent, you know, who could, you know, trick you, you know, have you, you know, smile on your face. And then when you turn your back, he stab you in the back. That's Esau. He's the chore evil man he devises wicked devices to destroy the poor as if the poor ain't destroyed enough as if the poor is not destroyed enough who's the poor us israelites all right and i'm talking about on the whole i'm not talking about these so-called rich these small crumbs that these black latino celebrities have they still poor too when it's compared to the elites all right where in the ghettos and neighborhoods man we're at the bottom, okay? It says, he devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. They told you that the prelude was supposed to protect you and you will go back to normal. But what happened now, they're saying it doesn't protect you. You, you still can catch it and you can spread it. Matter of fact, not only spread it, but you're a super spreader. <laughs> e, and his lying ass, man. He's the devil, all right? He is, you know, he has that, he is that, that, that old serpent, man, okay? So it says, even when the needy speaketh right, it says, but the liberal deviseth liberal things, and by liberal things he shall stand. And then it goes into, rise up ye women that are at ease, hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give in to my speech. Because you women, you Israelite women, you of the tribes, you need to wake up. Matter of fact, I get this scripture, uh, this, the book of Micah chapter 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. It is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction. Okay, sore destruction. <laughs> Let's see, even with the sore. Uh, to be or make sick. Yeah, this place make you sick, man. You go and take in that prelude, you're gonna get sick. Hey, and we're gonna and we're waiting to see, you know, what's gonna happen August 11th. You know, maybe nothing happen, or maybe something do happen, but we we shall see. All right, you know, and that's from them, um, you know, cutting on that uh, frequencies, whatever the case is. The uh, I forgot what they call it. The um, uh, the signal. You know, shooting forth some sort of signal, 
right? It says to be or make sick, to be grievous or painful, to make sick. Yeah, in this place, it makes you grievous, all right, and painful. Let's see, just, just checking. Irritated, yep. To be forcible, grievous, sore, right? So the scriptures say, Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. All right, the false philosophy that people live by, these, these uh, man-made traditions, all right, the religions, the, these uh, false doctrines, you know, going back to the Christianity church, all right, and the other uh, umbrella groups, Jehovah's Wickedness, all right, Pentecost, and all the rest of that stuff from the government, you know, these government churches, that plantation slavery doctrine, all right, uh, the lifestyle, the lifestyle, you know, in which people live, the uh, mannerism and how you conduct yourself in this place is polluted, man. It's polluted. All right. The education. All right. Going into their their health. All of that. All of that, man. All that. Sh all this shit is polluted here. You know, because it's polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction because you, 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 you're living in a false, a, a, a falsehood. Okay, you're living your life in a lie. Women, all right, you men, you women, you're living your life in a total lie. You've been deceived. You've been deceived. All right, so this is my last scripture, and I'll play this video. I know the lesson probably pretty long now, but Lord willing, I pray it's edifying, and I have to get this scripture. And I close out Revelations 13 and 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beasts, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which they had the wound by a sword and did live. Verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. And the image of the beast is the system. So if you don't go according to the system, eventually you're going to be imprisoned or killed. It says verse 16. And he calls of all. Notice it says he. All right. He calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. You go into the word. Uh, you go into the word mark. It goes into karagma. The root word of karagma is karax. All right, which means something imprinted. All right, something pricked under the skin, branded. All right, a certain device. That's why it's, you have to go into those words. All right, you have to understand the agenda of E. What are we going into? You know, what, what, what type of lifestyle are we going to live in the next ten years? If there is ten years, God forbid. What is Esau plans for us and how we live? And you think things are going to go back to normal all of a sudden? Things are not going to go back to normal until these elites get their way. All right. But if you have understanding, you will know that this is the time that the Lord spoke of. These are the, the beginning of sorrows. OK, well, I wouldn't say just the beginning anymore, but the sorrows have begun. All right. We're in those birth pains, man. OK. And, and, and it's going to come a time where they're going to end up locking things down again, you know, and, and you're going to feel that vibration uh, of martial law as we did in 2020, because things are going to get worse. It's not going to get better here. So for you guys out there that call yourself prophets and you're teaching the scriptures and I'm, you know, you, you're going against the mark, the MOTB, you know, you, you know, you're not warning the people you're not warning your, your your followers your congregation call it all right and warning them for this then you're gonna be in trouble for it man the blood is gonna be on you all right it says and he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name all right so this is how we also know that that prelude that everybody got hooked up to, all right, and they're looking to get more people to do it, 
All right, they they turning it into a war against the unprelude. Guess what? You can't buy or sell with that. All right, until you can buy and sell with that, that ain't the mark. All right, and that's just a cut right there. That's it. Boom. That ain't it, man. All right, that's the prelude. Okay. It says, um, verse eighteen. Here is wisdom. Let him to have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, which goes into Chi Phi stigma. Alright, going to the word stigma, it means to prick. Alright, something to stab. And that's that instrument, okay, that delivers the device into the body. So, Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. Uh stay tuned to the video that I wanted to play. Uh, Lord willing, it's edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. I remember the years when uh, people were saying I was crazy and uh, what I was talking about was uh, insane fantasy. Things that seem fantasy are being confirmed from official sources. They are describing. The very world I've been writing about for a decades now, which is of a human that is no longer the human we perceive to be human. One that is connected to technology, that's connected to artificial intelligence, and artificial intelligence becomes the human perceptual system. In other words, technology and AI i.e. who or what controls it is telling us what to think and what to perceive as reality in um, all its forms you look at what has happened to human well-being systematically and the idea that the authorities want to increase well-being of uh, humanity is utter uh, nonsensical baloney and uh, so all this needs inverting because where it's talking about expanding the mind it means you know, closing the mind and controlling the mind and it's designed to bring about the end of individuality the idea is that all the human brains and view brain systems are connected and centrally controlled. It sounds fantastic. So much of what I've written about over the years sounded fantastic, except that it's happening. And this is absolutely um, what is planned, the hive mind, because uh, then uh, from a central point, you can dictate the perceptions of everyone via this interconnected uh, brain system connected to a computer system and artificial intelligence and so the process of preparing people for the end of individuality can be seen in the whole woke agenda and identity um, politics look what they're doing they are taking the individual out of the equation and saying you need to judge people and perceive people on the basis of their group. And what they say is this group, good, this group, good. Ooh, yes, can't do any wrong. This group, ooh, bad, can't do any right. And this is becoming more and more blatant, more and more extreme. And it's losing the basic foundation of human experience and basic foundation of logic. They um, don't want individuality. They want groupthink. Not only groupthink in the way you think, but groupthink in the way you perceive the world as just a series of groups, which you put a label on, that works through all countries to impose a global agenda. It's not to do with national interests. They don't want nations. They want a world government with no nations. So it says the future of human augmentation should not be decided by ethicists or public opinion. You'll get what we give you. Well, we will if we stand by and let it happen. And it says, uh, rather, 
governments will need to develop a clear policy position that maximizes the use of human augmentation in support of prosperity, as if that's what they want for humans, safety, ditto, security, that means control and surveillance, without undermining our values. Technology is being developed and has been developed for a very long time in the underground bases and secret projects and then it's rolled out according to a sequence and they use front people to give a cover story for where this came from and this is why if you look at the way this technology is playing out uh, there's no gaps in it there's no gaps where oh yeah well we've got to wait for someone in a garage to invent the next stage or otherwise we can't move on no no it rolls out seamlessly week after week after week month after month getting more and more sophisticated in terms of the technology so where the hell is it coming from without any gaps it's because it's been in the underground basis for a long time because outside the public arena technology is light years again ahead of what we see in the public arena and we just get it out in a sequence a sequence that's designed to like a, a carrot and a donkey to pull us along the road until technology completely controls and overwhelms the human mind and the human body what do we need any of this bloody stuff for you know I'm, I talk there about all oh, the, the society demands it society's being manipulated to somehow see that oh yeah we want the next level of technology why do we want that I'm not against technology where it benefits humanity. I'm against technology where it uh, enslaves humanity, which is what this is all about. And um, technology should serve humanity. Humanity shouldn't be serving technology. And so contact lenses that analyze tears to predict your emotional state and project information. It's all about information. Every thought, every emotional response is going to be picked up by this AI system. And up to this point, people have been enslaved in the five senses by control of information. This is why all this expanded levels of consciousness, the, the true nature of the reality we're experiencing, etc., is, is not talked about. It's just the physical world, everyone knows that. Everything's solid and everything's apart from everything else. Provable nonsense, but that's the perception that people are given. So the idea is to use information and censorship to feed an information system to people to get the perceptions of reality that you want. Five senses um, is all there is, basically. But now, they are moving into a position, if we allow them to, where they don't need even to control information to mold your perceptions. The perceptions will come direct to the human brain by AI. That's where we're going. And that's what this is really all about. And um, when, again, you look at the numbers involved, the billions being manipulated into this world, and the, by comparison, handful, certainly full knowledge, tiny number that are pushing us in this direction. The answer to how we stop it is, is in our face. The question is, are we going to take that? Are we going to take that opportunity to stop our kids and our grandkids living in this world because um, we're at a point now where thinking well i'll decide i will decide in a, in a bit i'll decide next year it's not an option we're looking this in the eye and um, it's time that humanity found a level of maturity and a level of backbone that is willing not just to see it as more and more people are but to actually refuse to cooperate with it. Because if we don't, this is what awaits our children and grandchildren, but not just them. Pretty much the whole of humanity, given the timescale 
that they want to make this happen.